Married Catholics seeking annulments will now have an easier time of it as Pope Francis responds to widespread complaints about the lumbering process with reforms that include a fast track option for certain cases. Here to discuss is WSJ reporter Francis Roca, who joins us now from Rome. Welcome, Frank. Now, we know these new rules the Vatican announced Tuesday did not come easily. They are the result of a year's worth of work by a papal advisory commission. What was the most significant change the Vatican announced? Well, there are basically two. One is that uh, under the current law, uh, even if you get a, a church court to say, yes, your marriage is, uh, is null, uh, it, it was never valid, uh, then, then automatically there has to be a second trial, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, a second group of judges needs to go over the same information to make sure that that's true, which is meant as a safeguard, quality control. So that's gone. Uh, and so that, that, that should speed things up, minimum six months, but perhaps more. Uh, and the other thing uh, is that there's now a fast track option. They practically called it that. I mean, they called it a quicker uh, trial. Or, uh, and um, that will, in those cases where uh, both spouses agree, or at least neither disagrees mm -hmm. that the marriage is now spouses or, or the, uh, the parties, let's say, uh, because the premise is that they aren't really married. Uh, and then, and, and in that case, and that there's strong evidence, that the evidence is particularly clear, uh, whatever, whatever that means exactly, then the bishop himself can act as a judge in a procedure that should take really not much more than 45 days. I mean, certainly less than two months. Uh, in those cases. So it's, that'll be very quick. That is a significant change. Now, Frank, we know the Catholic Church does not permit divorce, so annulment has been the only way of dissolving a marriage. What were the long-standing complaints about the annulment process? Well, there was a complaint that it took too long, and, and uh, one priest today at the press conference to present the document who sat on the commission that, that, that made the recommendations to the Pope for these, these new rules uh, said that it could take up to 10 years in some cases, mm. uh, that it took, you know, never less than two, often five, and, and even 10 years. Mm. Uh, now, the official uh, rule is that it shouldn't take more than a year for the first ruling and then another six months uh, for the second. So, so uh, you know, some town lawyers are saying, well, you know, if they had, were, were applying and carrying out the current rules, then maybe there would be less dissatisfaction. Right. Uh, so maybe it wasn't a case to start having to change them. But, but that, so that was one. Cost has been mentioned, although in general the costs seem to be pretty contained, and increasingly dioceses have been waiving the costs that they impose. Uh, people do frequently hire lawyers uh, mm -hmm. to represent them, and of course those costs are additional. So, right, so the, the, the cost has been done away with. Now, how does this fit into Pope Francis's whole approach toward family matters? He certainly seems less rigid in this regard than his predecessors. And is this causing any internal dissent within the Vatican? Well, I mean, yeah, this, this decision now was certainly at, uh, in, uh, ahead of time opposed by certain people, most notably uh, former head of the, of the Vatican Supreme Court, uh, American Cardinal Burke, a former Archbishop of St. Louis. He wrote very clearly about a year ago before the, the family synod, the controversial family synod last fall, he wrote an essay saying, we can't get rid of this second uh, trial. We can't get rid of that, uh, that feature. It's very important for quality control. So surely he's probably, he's not happy, and, and a lot of the people are sympathetic with him are not happy. Uh, the Pope Francis, you could use the word conciliatory. That might be a good word. His approach to a lot of these questions, uh, he certainly uh, encouraged people at the city to talk about the possibility of even uh, allowing people who don't get an annulment of the first marriage and then go into a civil marriage to take communion, which is uh, uh, currently forbidden by church law. All right. Thank you, Francis Roca in Rome. Thanks so much for that.